Meanwhile, the KZN Transport Department says it expects a busy weekend on the roads as holidaymakers continue to leave the province. While there has been a reduction in road fatalities and crashes, the department says this is not enough. A reporter, Mawande Keswa, has more details for us. Traffic volumes are expected to increase on KZN's roads as holidaymakers continue to exit the province following a festive season that was quite wet but filled with a lot of activities and a lot of fun. The KZN Department of Transport says what it has seen a reduction in the number of fatalities and road accidents, it is not happy with the percentage that it's sitting at, which is fluctuating. To speak more on this, I'm going to be joined by Wanele Ngalane from the KZN Department of Transport. Wanele, we thank you for your time. You've said that you've seen a reduction in the number of fatalities. You're unhappy with that number. When we look, when we look at police and, and, and visibility of authorities over the festive season, it was quite high. If we're to see a further reduction in fatalities and accidents, surely maintaining that visibility will be paramount. Is this part of the plans for the department in 2022? Yeah, absolutely, uh, Mawande. We want to make sure that uh, we make road safety an everyday business, uh, and we want to make sure that uh, it starts with us sustaining uh, our operations throughout the year, but also making sure that uh, we continue with um, the integrated approach that um, we, we have employed working with uh, South African Police Service, National Traffic, SNDF, Municipal Traffic. We think that um, this has yielded positive results. The fact that um, we are not talking about a, a decrease in the preliminary figures, both in crashes and fatalities, is an indication that uh, that plan is really working. We need to tighten it further to make sure that uh, even where we are sitting now, we even reduce further. Our view is that um, with uh, uh, the 12% uh, decrease in crashes and uh, the 9% decrease in fatalities that we are currently sitting at, uh, it, it is quite a significant reduction compared to last year and the other years. But uh, we would have loved to have it more uh, 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 lower than this. And we want to make sure that we continue building from this foundation towards the, the Easter period, making sure that we double even the reduction. Uh, our view is that uh, we, we want to achieve a 50% reduction. We think it is possible. However, we need to work all together with all agencies, the public transport sector uh, and various uh, agencies as well, to come together and work together. But also, we need to uh, conscientize our people. We think there's still a lot of work to be done. Our police managed to stop more than 72,000 vehicles over the period. But still, there are a number of defects because about 9,000 charges were issued for various defects, non-compliance and so forth. So it tells you that people still disobey the rules of the road and we need to work on their mindset. We need to make sure that there are punitive measures against those who are violating the law. Thank you very much, Dewanele. We do hope that we will see a reduction and uh, these processes and steps that you will take will yield the positive results you desire. We have been speaking to Wanele Ngalan, who is a spokesperson for the KZN Department of Transport.